Chuck, sometimes it feels good to be up here, far above the maddening crowd. I know what you mean, isolated from the cares of the world. Longwood Field, 75 Bravo. Come in, 75 Bravo. This is 75 Bravo. Go ahead, Longwood, over. There's a Mr. Horace Wagner from the Four Corners Construction Company here to see you. Tell him we'll be there in about 20 minutes. See you then. Over and out. Thank you, miss. Back to the cares of the world. Normally, the company payroll and supplies are driven in from the branch office, such as Ellenville. Uh, Ellenville is isolated because of the storm, isn't it? It is. Well, those supplies are okay, but we've got to get the payroll up there on time. It's company policy. Well, it won't be the first payroll we've rushed out of here. <laughs> There'll be some other papers for the foreman up there, and he'll probably send some things back with you. When do you think you'll be back, Mr. Martin? Oh, I don't think there's too much of a problem. A couple hours, maybe longer. Depends on the weather. In that case, I'll wait for you. Here you are, young man. $25,000 in there. Cash. We're running into a squall. Yeah, the weather bureau said we might. I was hoping to beat it. But we sure didn't. We're not going to miss a thing. Wagner speaking. We hear things are pretty bad up there. Well, it's not good. We'll keep at it. The payroll isn't this important. You, you better turn around and get back here. We hired out to do a job for you, Mr. Wagner. But under normal circumstances. Come on back, boys, and that's an order. Roger. Over and out. Wagner just ordered us back. I still think we could have made it. Well, the man's the boss. I sure feel better about that. Hello, operator. Are the lines to Ellenville still up? Good. Uh, I want Ellenville 439, please. I'll get it. Braddock speaking. Oh, hello, Wagner. How's it going? I see. Well, I don't suppose a few hours more will make a great deal of difference. Good, we'll expect it in the morning then. Right. That was Wagner. They had to call off the helicopter on account of the storm over the mountain. They'll probably be here in the morning. We'd better let the men know. Okay, I'll go by the bunkhouse and the recreation hall right now. The important thing is, never plan a break-in until you know where every entrance and exit is. And pick an exit before you touch a thing. Yeah? I see. That may be better for us. We'll get right over there and check. If nothing happens, we'll be back here. Majorly? Yeah. The storm forced the helicopter back. Payroll may lay over at the hangar tonight. Hey, that might help us instead of losing us a week's time. Now you see why I went to all the trouble of casing that hangar uh, very thoroughly. I'm running fast. Get the grip. Well, we're out of that. Yeah, it'll blow itself out before morning. Hi. Hi. 
Sorry you called us back, Mr. Wagner. I think we could have made it. Well, it wasn't worth the risk. Anyway, I called the camp and told them that you'd get up there as soon as you can. Good. We'll be the Dawn Patrol. Fine. You got a good, safe place for this? Yeah, I think so. Right over here. Kind of old-fashioned, but it's built like a battleship. Well, it looks good and stout to me. No one will kick that in with a moccasin. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> suppose so. Anyway, it's in short. And we're bonded. And we have a burglar alarm. Well, I'll see you when you get back, then. Good, we'll walk you out. You coming, Helen? I have some work to finish here. I'll lock up. Fine. Good night. Good night, Helen. Good night. There they go. Without the briefcase. Mm. That figures. Stay where you are. What's the matter? The girl. She's still inside. the burglar alarm line that leads to the police station. You break the circuit here, it rings there. Put that bench over here. You short it out without leaving a mark, huh? But it's got to be done very carefully. Sure, the alarm won't ring. Maybe you got a bad connection. Don't worry, it won't ring. There's the alarm switch. A simple kind of device, but it's good enough to fool the punks operating these days. Where's the safe? In the closet. This is a monitor lock. Hard to get keys for, and I had to make this one myself.
brains and patience. Success. Take a little, leave a little. I don't get it. When the loss of this $10,000 was first discovered, there'll be an amazing amount of confusion. It may go on for days, even weeks, before anybody realizes this might not be an inside job. How else do you think I've avoided discovery for the last couple of years? Yeah, but you'll never get rich. No, but I'll never be poor, and I'll never be a guest of the federal government. Learn not to be greedy, and you will have learned the secret to success. Now then, we'll go outside, remove the jumper, cover any traces, go back to our hotel and wait for the next opportunity, which doubtless will be at Ellenville. here now. Right? I'll send the stuff back with them. Boy, you're sure welcome, Sid. Are you Mr. Braddock? Yes, I am. And this is Mr. Midsley, boys. Hi. Hi. I was Wagner on the phone just now. He said he'd be waiting for you when he gets back. Good. Can you get that stuff in the outgoing file ready so these boys can take it back? Yeah, I've been telling Wagner all along we'll use your service for the payroll. Keep it from laying over up in the office up in Ellensville. We've been telling him the same thing. Wagner got this stuff out in front of you? No, he just said there was 25,000. But there isn't. There's only 15,000. What? There's 10,000 missing. Give me the main office fast. It's an emergency. When you returned it, did you find anything unusual? Chairs, books, papers out of their usual places? No, sir. It was just like you see it now. Didn't the alarm bell ring at the station? Apparently not. Our cash is probably gone, too, and we didn't have that insured. Would you check this, please? Hundred and thirty bucks of our money not even touched. Something else we can't understand, along with the fact that the thief or thieves left 15,000 behind. Professionals just don't operate that way. I don't get it. If they took ten, why didn't they take the rest? The darnest thing I ever heard of. You fellows gonna be around for a while? Yeah, sure, we'll stick around. Okay. You know, I don't think he's very sure about you and me, Chuck. No. Or me. I was here last and know the combination to the safe. A person's innocent until proven guilty. What did the insurance company say? Well, they'll pay, of course, but they can't know any more than the police right now. Don't they have their own investigators? Yes, and good ones, too. It may take them a long time, but they'll eventually find out who's got the 10,000. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. Meantime, we can get a job beachcombing. Not very many criminals can break into an office like this, open the safe, and leave without a trace. But it has been done by master safe crackers. They'll find out who and where they are. See you later. Okay, thanks a lot, Mr. Wagner. I don't think he believes us either. How do you like that? Yesterday, we landed the best account in the country. Today, we look like thieves and robbers. Well, remember what Mr. Wagner said. You're still considered innocent. Honey, I think this is a case of being guilty till we prove we're innocent. I don't know how we're going to do it. Where are you going? Go ahead, I'll take a look at the whirly bird. I don't think we'll be seeing it around much longer. I'm glad I caught you two before you left. I, I've got some papers for you to sign. At this point, we'll sign anything. Anything new? And not a thing. This may take months. Didn't the policeman say that anyone who pulled a job like this from the outside would have to be very familiar with the office and the building? He did. Well, about two weeks ago, there was a man in here, oh, about 50 or so, 
brown hair, mustache, about six feet tall. What's so special about that, Helen? Well, when he found out that you two were on a job, he kept asking me all kinds of questions about the whirly bird. And looking around the office the whole time, I got the feeling he was noticing everything. Did he leave his name or a number? No, he didn't. And I got the impression that he wasn't even listening to what I was saying. Sergeant Phillips, Wagner, uh, I want to give you a description. Now. Wagner speaking. Yes, Sergeant. Ellis Parker? Yes? Yes? Good. At least it's something to work on. Thanks. They found a master safe cracker known to be in the area who fits the description. Two payrolls up at Ellenville right now. Just might fit in. Boys, I think we'd better get up to Ellenville. Fast. It's a long shot, but let's play it. Slowly now. Hold your breath. Listen for the last click. That's it. Congratulations. You may be almost as good as you can. Fifty thousand this time. Tempting, isn't it? But that's for amateurs. Take a little and leave a little, remember? How much you gonna take? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand? Out of fifty? Greed has been the ruination of many a clever man. Yeah, but I'm no philosopher. I want the dough. Put that back. Put it back. Don't you hear me? Put that back. The office is right there on the corner. There's some space behind it. Sheriff, he's right down the street. Yeah, him, no. Your name, Parker? It is, and I suppose you're the law. I'm with the company. What happened to you? They slugged me, the greedy little fool. Who slugged you? Prince Sofio, the stupid lout, just like all the others, greedy. <laughs> I suppose you were defending this. In a way, I wanted to leave most of it here. It's safer that way, but he took it all. Where is he now? He's probably driving south in my car. Green and white sedan. <laughs> Here's a rare specimen for you, Sheriff. 
We'll get the other one and be right back. Come on, boys. That Parker's one for the books, isn't he? No wonder he dropped out of sight. He was busy keeping everybody confused. He sure had us talking to ourselves. There's a car up there. Yeah, green and white sedan. to ride with somebody. Yeah, he could have gone in any direction. Which way now? Straight ahead. Hey, wait a minute. There's somebody lying by the car. His name is Philip Kalima. He's a trucker and he owns his own truck. Being driven right now by Vince Sofio. Give me a hand. Look, let him sit right here. You all right? Yeah. What kind of a truck are you driving? Three quarter ton red steak. Look, you take it easy. We'll call into the sheriff and have him come out and pick you up. Here's your wallet. to drive a truck at the same time? No use taking any more chances than we have to. This is our party, too, Mr. Wagner. You get me on that truck. I'll get rid of the gun. Okay. Go on, P.T., you look good. Yeah, good and dirty. Well, this is the end of your career, Sophia. How about driving us back to Allenville, P.T.? Fine. We'll have a nice talk on the way.